Ever since we discovered Viagra from men, the hunt has been on for a drug that makes women want more sex. And that drug, named phlebanserin, has just been rejected by the FDA for the second time. And that's made a lot of women really angry. A lot of people have accused the FDA of gender bias because the FDA have approved Viagra, the drug that gives old men hard-ons, as well as 25 other drugs like Viagra. And yet they've never managed to find a single drug for women that addresses hypoactive sexual desire disorder i.e. makes unhorny women more horny. But the scientific evidence shows that phlebanserin wasn't rejected because of some gender war, but because it has very minimal effectiveness, and that effectiveness is outweighed by its side effects like dizziness and nausea. The fact that women's right groups and lobbyists are involved in the drug approval process at all is an outrage to me. First of all, I want my drugs to be approved based on the scientific evidence alone and not based on the input of some lobby group. And secondly, women, there are so many other problems that you could be worrying about right now. Back off the drug approval process. Start worrying about the wage gap. Worry about reproductive rights. There's a lot of stuff going on that should be on your plate well before the drug approval process. If women want a drug that makes them horny, yes, they should totally be allowed to have access to one, but not at the expense of their health. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.